So now what I want to do is I'm going to make some practice prints of this onto this drawing paper. So um, it's a little thicker than normal like printing paper. Um, I think I got two sheets here. It's a little thicker, has a little texture. Now this isn't the proper uh, printmaking paper. I, ha I haven't got it yet. So that's why we're going to do this in a couple weeks. But I'm going to show you how to get this ready. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to um, I'm going to measure out my little linoleum square here. I have a little piece of paper ready so I can write down write down the notes of of this measurement here. So um, it's four inches by uh, about five inches. So four by five inches, right? And we have uh, a nine, let's see, what is this? Let's see, so this is eight, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And this is eight and a half. So this is just a standard eight and a half by eleven sheet. So what we could do is we could measure half of this, take this paper and 11 and a half, half of that is five and a half. We're gonna mark this in half because I think we can, we can get two prints out of this. Oh, uh, and it's always good to measure twice if things are not lining up right. I did that at the five. How about five and a half? Okay. And so this is four by five, right? So we can do go here and go here. Now I want to find the middle part here. So this will be eight and a half. So it'll be four and a quarter. So I'm going to make a mark at four and a quarter here and any side you could do four and a quarter if you got a, a full 12 inch ruler then you can just match up just these two marks and do a line all the way straight across now you want to do this in pencil so you can erase it off of your print okay so now we have the middle here so this is uh five and a half inches and this is five inches this way. So we need a half an inch um, trying to think here. What was this way? Oh, this way was four. So this is five and a half. So maybe um, so four, we got five and a half. So we have an, an inch and a half of, of give. So uh, we want three quarters, so we're going to split that in half. So here's three quarters. So we go one quarter, two quarters makes a half. Another quarter makes three quarters. So there's three quarters. And I like to just even things out and then count backwards. So there's a quarter, half, and here's three quarters. So there's your middle there. So it's going to be the same on this side. So... Here's three quarters here. So I started at the three quarters. I'm counting backwards. And here's the three quarters here. So I can just do it on the one. So now I know my print can go right here. What we're trying to do is trying to center it so it's nice and pretty. So this way is five. And how many inches do we have to play with? We have uh, eight and a half inches this way. So eight and a half is four and a quarter. And let's say, wait, so we want to go this way. So we have five inches this way, and this is eight and a half. So what's the difference is three and a half inches. So to divide three and a half by two, you have an inch and three quarters. So we're going to do an inch and three quarters here, an inch and three quarters here, and an inch and three quarters here and an inch and three quarters here 
So now you should have a perfect little box to do your print. Now what you could go ahead and do is you can go ahead and draw the box around. So you just wanna make sure to line up at least two points that you just marked and then you can go through and erase all that. Now a lot of times print people will have these already marked up or have like a, a square ready to go so they don't have these cross lines. But we're not worried about that. We're just learning, okay? So that way when you put down your print, you can follow it right into that box, okay? So next we're gonna put this aside for a second to a nice convenient place where we can grab it. I am going to, I am using just a clear transparency um, plastic sheet here. Um, you can use uh, like an acrylic block or uh, plexiglass or anything. You just wanna make sure it's, it's smooth and flat. And actually I'm gonna put this right here here and you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna cut this I'm gonna go ahead and cut this and I'm just gonna use just plain old acrylic tape paint on this this won't they usually use water soluble ink but I have some black acrylic paint it's like a little apple barrel acrylic paint you just need a few drops this is towards the end of its life, so it'll be a good experiment. You don't need a whole lot. That should be enough for one print. We're gonna get our custom made brayer, or I'm just gonna use my regular brayer. And I'm going to put the paper there. Put this here. I'm going to go ahead and smooth out the ink here on my brayer. I'm going to come over here and do it again. Trying to make sure it's somewhat smooth. Okay. Now I'm going to take my, my you need Make sure you have plenty of space to work on a dining table or something like that here. You know what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna switch this around so you can see here. If you don't feel like you're getting it, you don't have to press really hard with the brayer. Okay. And then once you get that, put your brayer down we're going to pick it up gently, flip it, and push it down. That did not work. Okay, let's Okay, let's try this again. A little more ink this time. I think. It's probably because it's acrylic paint, not ink. So I'm gonna be a little more liberal with it. I'm gonna take my paper Rub it. Sorry for the wiggles. Really try to get all that paint off of there. Really push down. Rub, rub, rub. And then peel it up. And I have a light imprint, not a great imprint. So I'm going to try this with the ink. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and use this uh, speedball fabric paper texture 
ink because the acrylic was not working. This is a lot thicker. We're going to try to roll it out. Probably be better to tape down this plastic here. But. Okay, so now I'm going to roll this on. with your pre-measured sheet, which I don't have another one of those, but I'm just gonna slap it on here. Rub, rub, rub. Carefully peel it up. Now you have a print. Oh, and another thing you can uh, before before anything. Oh, let's see, I kind of said goodbye, but I'm coming back uh, to let you know you can just wash this off with water. So you just go in, you just wash it off with water, and you can reuse it again over and over and over again. Just make sure you wash it right away. Same thing with the brayer. brayer. You want to wash that off, and any of the other materials you are using. Take some time to just wash it off. It washes right off with water. So, and you only need like a dime, a dime size amount of ink to do a few prints. And that's all I'm looking for. I'm gonna do another one here. And another cool thing is I'll show you here in a second. I will just be giving you some black ink. If you wanna order some ink on your own, you're more than welcome to, different colors or there's all kinds of stuff you can get. Take it up slowly. And here's the, the print. But then you still have this other side and you can make a ghost copy. So a ghost print is the same, but it's a little fainter. So see how many prints we can get here. You can do this on clothing. There's, uh, you know, this is good for clothing even. And here's a ghost print. And it's still cool, but definitely not as good as that one, right? So, um, you're gonna also do this with your own. Um, use up that ink, so let's see if we can get some more ink on here. I put like a little dime size. I got two and a half really good prints. Okay. And now I'm going to put this back on. Probably didn't measure it exactly, but. there's with the ghost print it's kind of cool anyways that's just how you do print making so I hope you guys enjoy this process and I will hopefully get to see you guys in a month or so so have fun do your own design do the do a do a column and then on the other side you're gonna carve out your own design all right so have a good day good week good month all right bye all right, so this was a, a lino cut that I started and never finished, and hopefully I will. But I'm just going to test out this handy-dandy br br brayer that you guys, uh, I had you guys make. So first off, we're going to get any gloppy bits. And I'm going to add a little more ink. Just a tiny bit. There we go. <laughs> And I've got 
one more piece of paper over there. So just keep trying to spread it out as best you can. This doesn't have like... And keep just doing this until it looks like it is completely covered in ink. And then I'm just going to go over this a little bit. And put this on top. And get a faint one. I think we just, let's see. Let's put a little more ink on here. The other thing is, is my, I've got tape and all kinds of stuff on my board here. If you have a very flat surface, this will help a lot more. And of course, having this thing taped down would help big time. Let's see if we can get this to print better. I think that will go on better. And I'm going to pick it up. Oh yeah, so you just got to use a good amount of ink. Making a mess. Yes, and oh, there's a ghost print. Anyways, just wanted to show you that your little brayers can work just fine. You just got to make sure you have plenty of ink, a nice flat surface, and, and you just really layer that on there. So, thank you guys. You can wash these in water too when you're done with them, or... Yeah, you want to wash them, rinse them off with water. Um, make sure you dry the metal uh, quickly so it doesn't rest on you. Um, but yeah.